JCWshow.com or JohnClayWolf.com. From the Wolf Radio Studios, it's time for the John Clay Wolf Show. Presented by GiveMeTheVin.com. From coast to coast, the number one weekend morning show in America. Heard in Miami, Washington, D.C., Houston, Dallas, Nashville, Pittsburgh, Charlotte, Orlando, Cincinnati, New Orleans, Oklahoma City, Austin, and broadcasting to the rest of the world at JohnClayWolf.com. And the podcast goes up about 2 o'clock today for those of y'all who like it that way and aren't familiar. So Joe Exotic, our own Tiger King, the member of the Wolf Pack, he's been calling and he's been getting clearance from prison to call in at 10.05 on Saturdays. But today, they changed it. And yeah. there's a conspiracy theory. Pull him up. <laughs> Joe, you there? Is he here yet? What line would it be? Oh, line three. Line three. There he is. Have we beeped him in? Joe, are you there? You what? So, so why did they... Are they trying to keep you off the air? Are they trying to keep you away from our listeners? Well, look, I have been I've been in medical facilities for five years, and I've been here going on three, and I have never been called to the, to the clinic on a Saturday because my doctors are outside specialists, mm-hmm. and they damn sure don't work on Saturdays. So this has just got to be a way to shut me down. They want to keep you off the national syndication on the John Clay Wolf Show. They don't yeah, want you to pass your message on and educate the people on why it's you're going to be our next president. The government doesn't want the truth out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe you, Joe. You know what it's I was crazy. thinking? Now, now that we have you, um, I know it's a different time, but but thank goodness you got in, but you can't, uh, and, and we got you in. So let's get this in before they knock you off again and, and go put yeah, you in I, and ISO. Shut this phone off in the middle of our interview, so if I hang up, it's not me. <laughs> I, want, I, I want the people to understand the depth of your political knowledge and why you should be our president. So we could do a little town hall. I'll be the narrator. There's nobody oh. to debate against, though, okay? That's all right. All right. So, hey, I, you know, I, I would actually, it should be my constitutional right to be able to at least video debate President Trump and Biden. Right. Biden, you know, but that'll never happen because they don't want a normal, everyday working person asking them real questions. I'd so watch that. I'd pay to watch that. Hey, people I, all over the world would pay to watch that. Oh we, we, in pay-per-view pay event. Pay per Trump view. versus Joe Exotic. Okay, Joe, yeah. question one. What is your take on the war in Ukraine? If you were president, you know, what would you do? Uh, first of all, it wouldn't have lasted this long because, you know, if, if we're going to support it, we're supporting it, okay? I don't care. I, I don't care if you call it boots on the ground or whatever. We're in that war, all right? And it's costing our taxpayers uh, to to fight that war. So why don't we just go over there and put an end to it? Because why? Because we're scared of Putin. So do you think we should invade President, Russia? President Biden is scared of Putin. Putin. All right. But if you well, were President Joe, do you think we should? Just, would you go over there and invade would, Russia? I, well, I wouldn't invade Russia. I'd put enough troops in Ukraine to to run Russia off. <laughs> and then if they want to fire any more shots once my troops over there. From from the Russia side, you bet your ass it would be it would be border open, dude. Here we go. This call is from a federal prison. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I don't I don't understand it. All right, America, next question. America go ahead. Takes out world leaders all over the all over the world. So why don't we go take out Putin? Do you think we should just well, snipe him? It, it, well, do you think really that, that this uh, this this international war court is ever going to get that man in front of a courtroom? No. No. This, this is just all a political ball game. Question number two for Joe Exotic, 2024, running for president. What Do you know what Title 42 is? I do. Okay, and then there's Title 8, and then there's this Title 69 that's being proposed. So tell me what your solution is to the uh, southern border. We need a Title Joe Exotic. <laughs> we, we need to... We need to move in enough people. Look, if we can put on 82,000 IRS agents, we can put on 15,000 new border agents to fill out paperwork and get this, get this done faster, okay? Twelve years waiting for a court hearing is crazy to let somebody live in America uh, tax-free and everything else for 12 years before they can even get in front of a, an asylum court. 
Okay, so... But while they're here, do you think we should have them laying tile and doing other nice work that helps America? Hey, you know, my neighbor in Oklahoma died in the uh, fight in Iraq. My dad fought in the Korean War. Freedom is not free, and, and I still think that we need to put enough pencil pushers down there to, to vet these people, give them a, a non-citizen social security number, make them mm-hmm. pay $50 a month, and, and that would allow them to work, pay taxes, take part in the school system, take part in the health care system, and we can make $750 million a month. Hold on, hold on. My, 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 my political analyst from the John Clay Wolf Show that uh, from New York City just, just hand me something. Ask Joe. You know, freedom if, is not if, free. If we Why shut down the southern them? borders, who's going to do all the labor work? We're not going to shut them down. We're just going to charge them to come in here for five years and become a citizen. Okay. Why do you think it is that white hey, people had, don't want to work anymore? I, I had look. I had I had Hondurans working at the zoo, yeah. and they worked harder than anybody I ever had, and they never complained about nothing. But you're not going to get a white person out there on Interstate I-35 and lay asphalt at 110-degree weather. You just ain't. We're too lazy. It's true. Mm-hmm. It is true. Who is going to Who is going to pick the tomatoes and the strawberries and everything else out of the, out of the fields? I grew up with Mexicans because I grew up on a farm, uh, you know, and, and that's all we had was was hoers and beet pullers and everything else and and we were raised out in the field with the mexicans i, I have nothing you know, you know my name's maldonado i have nothing against mexicans okay <laughs> but i have against i have i have everything against people coming here from another country and getting a free ride when my neighbor died fighting for that free ride so we have joe exotic aka the tiger king aka maldonado from federal prison calling in like he's been doing every saturday he's a new member of the wolf pack and we're asking him questions about his presidential, his, his political positions. This is good. Actually, Joe, I'm being a smartass, as you can tell. But hey, you're doing, fine. You're doing pretty fine. good. So what, it, what, what do you believe about EV tax credits and the, the government paying all these tax credits for electric vehicles? And okay. my, my main question is, when it's snowing in New York and, and Maine and Michigan and the interstate shut down for 48 hours, who's going to go around charging all their batteries? <laughs> Now, I somebody needs to take that. That that's a good drop that you could run in a commercial for Joe I mean, Exotic, President I, I mean, Seriously, they, it's hard enough getting gasoline out there for the cars that run out of gas. Who who is going to charge all these batteries? And 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 how are these people going to stay warm? Very valid point. My point exactly. And how are we going to charge them as a whole anyway? Anyway, we, we, we can't even keep the lights on in California during the summertime. Is there any way if we got Trump on the horn, would the prison let us three-way him? We asked them if we get President Trump to call. Well, ex anyway, Donald Trump to call in, you know, and we have you, and we, and we do it. We do a three-way. You get you get Donald Trump to call the prison and get permission, and I am on it. I, the first question I want to know is why he let Snot Nose Mark Meadows decide whether or not I was going to get a pardon instead of the President of the United States. Because <laughs> he was supposed to pardon you. Did he ever promise it? He did. He, he, I mean, I, he, he told the news for a year that I was on the pardon list. Sean Hannity was shocked that I didn't get a pardon because he saw the pardon list. And on Air Force One... This call is from a federal prison. The discussion on my pardon, Mark Meadows talked him out of it. Do you so, think he wanted to keep the man down and he was worried about running against you? And the, he figured he would have better success running against you for you know, president you know if you were still in he prison? Wouldn't be under, he wouldn't be under investigation in Georgia right now for 11,000 votes if he'd have pardoned me before the election. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Who needs, who needs Fox News or CNN when you have the John Clay Wool Show? Exactly. You know, so my question is, if he gets reelected, is he going to be uh, is he going to be too big of a whip to pull his own shots, or is he going to have the chief of staff do everything for him? Mm, shots fired by Joe Exotic. If you do take the White House, will you have tiger cages? At- if I have the what? Look, if I take the White House, we're going to fire all the security and that big nice iron fence around that that thing. We're going to mm-hmm. just put like. 15 tigers loose on the White House lawn and dare anybody to crawl that fence. 
<laughs> and what will you do with Carol Baskin if you if you get in power? <laughs> I gotta go, right, Joe. Hillary, her, her, her go ahead. Hillary Clinton are gonna share a sale. Okay, thank you, Joe. Every Saturday we really enjoy it. It's the highlight of my week. That's that's odd, but it's true. You hey, just have that you have that effect on people. I, I do. And and before this is over with, we're gonna set up Gigi a Bachelorette King contest on my website. Right? I love it. I love it. I'm ready. <laughs> Joe Exotic, will you take us out? Just say we'll be back with more of the John Clay Will show after this. And three, two, one, go, Joe. Everybody, I'm Joe Exotic, and you're listening to the John Clay Will show. And we'll be right back after this song. Thanks, guys.